Okay, so we're on to episode 5 of the Road to Supersonic Legend. Uh, we're in Bronze 3, Division 3 on this new account. It took a lot more work than I thought it would be to get to Bronze because it set me in gold at the beginning. So I had to, you know, maybe throw a couple games. Just, just a couple, maybe like 30 or 40. But we're here. We're in Bronze 3. Uh, so I thought we would start in Bronze in case you're a new player and you're, you're down in these ranks. And I'll sort of play to the level of the rank that we're in as I move through uh, the ranks up to Supersonic Legend. So it took a few L's for this to make it here, but we're uh, we're finally here in Bronze 3. I didn't want to move all the way down to Bronze 1 because our MMR, I believe, is already like 100 and something. Uh, and we started at 600 and I had to drop like 400 MMR in a day to get prepared for this video. So here we are. We're jumping into Bronze 1 Division 3. I mean, Bronze 3 Division 3 and uh, win a few games to get into Silver. I got carried by a Bronze teammate, so I can say that for the rest of my career. <laughs> All right, we got Fish Stick and Fox Trex versus me and uh, Hype Diego. They have no idea what's coming. It's a pretty fast kickoff already. So the first thing you want to probably focus on in these lower ranks is just staying relevant on the ball and uh, making good touches to collect boost and stay stay close to the play. You can see I'm just sort of sitting with the ball and making sure I drive into it. I don't want to do anything too crazy. Obviously, I don't want to like you know be an uh, you know anger them and make them mad that I'm smurfing. It'll be close games and. So I'm just gonna just scan the field in the middle here and watch for any ball that opens up and sort of make good touches and back up my teammate here. So close try by my teammate, trying to make a touch. These guys are moving pretty fast for bronze players. Just falling up. I don't think bronze players really aerial that much yet. Oh, never mind. Okay, well I don't think they're gonna score this, but I'll get ready in the middle here and I'll just and my teammates popping off. Honestly. Can you really call it a smurf if I'm not doing anything? Because my teammate is popping off right now. Uh, that's a pretty good aerial. He's, uh, I think he's unranked because his, oh, that's his, uh, never mind. His clan tag is 666. And I think people don't really flip on kickoff, but uh, I would suggest, you know, starting to boost or boost and forward flip like that to get uh, ahead on the ball here. But so far, hasn't been too much. I'll get ready in mid for my teammate here. He's popping it across. See if they defend it. They don't, but it goes across. I'm just going to flip across and sort of get in the middle here. And just that center right there gave an open shot. I'm not going to score this just because that was our shot opportunity. I think I'm adding too much pressure because they haven't really been on our side yet. So I'm going to back off a little bit. So right here, I'm just sitting with 100 boosts, just trying to sit in mid. I see that the ball is going to come out mid here. So now I'm going to make one touch and sort of just, you know, chip it towards the net and see what they do. Might have been too much. Close by my teammate. Fox clears it to the side. Just gonna wait for their touch here. My teammate is ahead of me. That's why I'm just waiting. So now I'm just gonna take this across here. I'm just gonna pop it once and stay with the ball. See, I'm just using the ball. I'm just letting the ball roll and do the work for me. I'm gonna roll this towards him here. My teammate is coming in. <laughs> that might happen quite a few few times. Maybe just a couple. Uh, but you know, whenever you see your teammate too close to you, just uh, try to recognize the danger in that situation. My teammate wants it again. That's fine. So now I'm gonna sit in mid again. Make sure I'm watching these pads as we talked about in the first few episodes. If you want to, if this is the first gameplay episode, this is episode number five. If you want to go back and watch all the uh, the early stuff about how to move around the field and and the boost pads, oh, it was a little nice little bump, getting pretty aggressive. All right, I'm gonna wait. Wait, how do I say go for it? <laughs> Take the shot. Oh, nice one. So I'll give him a nice shot. See. I think what I'll do for these lower level ranks is I won't be the one to score. I think I think what I'm going to do is just make it so that my teammate has to score. So I'll set him up and uh, let him do to the best of his ability or her ability to uh, move up in the ranks. So I see the ball moving forward on their half. So I, I get the midfield boost and my teammate gets that boost. Nice little pop mid. That's a, that's a little more advanced. I shouldn't have done that. Actually, that's pretty bad. Uh, so I, I drifted around the ball and then caught it. Uh, th those are like good things to like time. And I talked about those in the first few episodes where, you know, I'm dribbling and stuff. Oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! No! That did not just happen. Oh no! Fox, fox and fish um look a little sus here. You know, oh, I did score. Okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. Oh, that's because of that. 
That's because they just did that. Oh gosh. I was like, how did I score? I don't remember scoring the ball. And yeah, they just uh double they just double own gold, so. Alright, he's popping it back. That's a good hit from him. It's good power. As those are those half volleys I talked about in the uh the ball control episode. So I see this coming back here. Comes off the wall. Watch that for that ball indicator underneath and maybe get bumped by this guy. It's a good ch chance for the opponent here. Bit of a miss though. So I'll roll this to this guy. Maybe he can start an offense. I don't know. Is this toxic? I have no idea. I'm really just trying to like get a good, uh, you know, kind of teach people what I'm doing here. So I'm sitting under the ball and trying to jump. So you want to jump ahead of the ball. Oh, no, he saved it. All right, see if we can take a shot here. Good shot. Good play. I think my teammate would have had that too, but... I'll just throw a quick thanks. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that's their first like really good offense. I think it actually was behind my teammate. He was driving forward. <clears throat> but you can see so far in, in bronze, like all I'm doing is just scanning the field as that second player and just sitting on these boost pads and... And sort of staying where the ball is going to come like this. Just sitting in midfield waiting for the ball to do the work for me. A lot of players are going to try and do too much too fast. And, uh, and you know, hit the ball really hard like that. But then it just kind of comes in mid. I won't really hit this right away. See if my teammate wants to get ready. That's all I'll do here and see if my teammate wants to come up. We can score it. Oh, nice finish. Good finish. There we go. Yeah, this is looking like a pretty clear win here. Um, really, honestly, my teammate's been doing a lot of the work. Um, but that's kind of the idea of this whole series at the start. I think once I get into like champ <coughs> and grand champion, obviously I'm gonna have to start playing normally. Uh, but I think for now we'll just sort of support our teammates. And uh, this is a good thing, a good habit to be in too, uh, is uh, to back up your teammate and make sure you space out with them, uh, even in the lower ranks. And it's a good reminder to have. Like here, my teammate is just getting in a, a good position. And uh, yeah, I just got carried by a bronze teammate. I'm not gonna lie, that's. That's uh, that's pretty good. Bronze is looking a lot better than I remember. I don't think I don't know if that guy's smurfing on my team on my team, but he's he looks pretty good. He's making a lot of weird mistakes. Could be a smurf though. I don't think so. So we're at division four already after the first game. Uh, I was a little bit afraid of that, but hopefully we can get two games in for uh, division four and uh, finish off the series. The reason why I don't think this guy's a smurf uh, is, yeah, he, he has a, he has a Fennec and a bunch of car designs. I think that like he he's invested on this account, and uh, I think honestly he's just in bronze and and sort of you know goes back and forth. I've been playing a lot of a lot of uh, players in uh, bronze, silver, and gold lately on this account. And I can definitely say there are some really, really good players that um, <coughs> aren't aren't actually Smurfs. They're just really decent players at this rank. And uh, you'll get a mix of players, sort of like that, uh, where sometimes you just can't you can't uh, you can't predict anything, and it, it will happen. You kind of just have to let it go and understand that people are learning. Uh, my girlfriend right now is in uh, Silver Three, Gold One area, and uh, she just. She keeps telling me like her teammates are are different every time. She has no idea what to expect. And I was like, that's part of the game. Um, you get that no matter what rank you're at. Even in Grand Champion or Super Sonic Legend, where I'm at uh, in the top 100, uh, you can just get random teammates. They just can't read, and and they may be a be behind or or too far ahead of the play. That's a good try, my teammate. Like I said here, I'm gonna try and uh, even if we lose the game, I don't really care. Uh, like I'm just gonna like try and set up my teammate and see if he gets in and tries to score. From the first kickoff, this could be pretty tough, uh, just because of you know how it looked. As you can see, like this, this guy's a little bit worse than our first teammate. That that just could be you know the nature of the play. He's right behind me. And I'm just gonna try and stay with the ball here, get a few pads. It's off the wall. It's pretty difficult for players to to hit that ball. So I'm gonna just drive down the wall first. And you see, my teammate just really wants to get involved. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be the the bigger man, and uh, and. <laughs> <laughs> and uh and yeah space out here good good 50 50 50 50 50 50 i don't know what i just said but it's a good hit by my t uh the opponent here so right here i'm just gonna get ready for the touch off the wall pop it in mid team wants to get involved so i'm just gonna drive in front of it he does miss the ball and chip it around his teammate oh close it's a good touch 
So right here, I'm gonna let him hit the ball because it's closer to him. And then my team is gonna come in. He did miss the ball, I'm gonna pop it again. <laughs> uh this guy's uh this guy's looking more like a a proper bronze here. Let's see what he's got. He's gonna stay with the ball, gonna drive around. Nice. So it comes out mid, so now I'm gonna drive around here. I'm gonna drive to the wall. Maybe hit it out mid like this. Just drive with the wall. All you have to do is just pop it like that when it's rolling up the wall. And it's pretty difficult. Let's like hit, hit mid. I just tap this. I... Score it! Oh, I thought... <laughs> Honestly, I didn't think that was going to pop up high enough for him to get confused. But all I did was just like like drive into this ball. I don't think that's like a play that a bronze couldn't make. And he just flew flew past the ball there. Um, so yeah, I kind of kind of broke broke the uh, the rule here where I'm not supposed to score. I didn't mean to score that though. I was trying to pop it over and then let my teammate come in and finish it. Good dunk there. That actually could just be in. I don't know if he's going to get that. Wow. Yeah, we take those. That was a really good dunk. He came flying across. Kind of picked up speed all of a sudden and then just flew through. <laughs> wow, the things you see in bronze, man. I don't think, uh, I don't think I've experienced something like this in quite a while here. So I'm just like, using my boost and flipping to the boost pads. It's something to get used to. I don't even need that 100 boost pad, really. Because if you come through and just pick up a few uh, boosts here, I'm at 60. And there's lots of time to let the ball bounce. Let the ball do the work. I'm going to flip mid here. Not move too fast. Teammates going supersonic here. So that could be a shot I can make right here. I'm not going to score it, obviously. Um, let me let them make some defensive plays here. I'm not here to upset anybody. And I really hope I'm not offending anybody uh, with this series. I think uh, that's a really good try by him. You got to try for it. That's why I keep telling Shannon too is that uh, if you're going to go for... Oh, wow. Uh, if you're going to go for stuff, don't be afraid to. Like, you got to push your limits if you want to get better at this game. So for you to not go for aerials when the ball's in the air is just, uh, you know, it's just hurting yourself in the future. I don't want to go in this because my teammate's there. You see, yeah, I, I want to back off there and wait for my teammate to come through. I get bumped. A nice bump by him as well. Might flip into this, which he does. I'm going to back off here. It's a good hit. It's a good bounce for us. It does bounce up. If it went off the wall, I would have... Oh, that's a good flick too. If it went off the wall there, I would have oh, went, up the, went up the backboard and tried to follow it. This could be a good chance. Good save. So here I'm going to boost back. And you can see I'm grabbing the boost pads as I go back. And I didn't lose any boost by doing that. You want to trade off your boost. Uh... With picking up boost as well. Good, decent team pinch here. My teammate wants to go up. This is this is the thing you can see. See, don't be don't be like Lax Lax Legend here, where he wants to be on the ball 24/7. Be the, the be the other player that you know lets your ball chasing teammates go in for it, and you will accelerate in the ranks by far way faster than being the player that he is. Because if you have if you both decide to do what Lax Legend is doing, you're basically going to be a glass cannon, and. Uh, you're gonna be stuck in a situation where you're gonna like you're gonna score maybe quite often but you're also gonna get scored on a lot too which is not like i'm not one to take like a lot of massive risks um in the upper ranks you obviously have to sometimes but you don't want to be the person where where uh you know you're you're trying to take over the entire time i'm probably gonna let that in just because that was a good shot and there's there's not a lot of times where a bronze player will jump off for that but what you want to do there is loop wide I probably could have showed what you should do while I was like, so I should have turned right here and then left and popped it out. But that's a really advanced save, so I'm not gonna save that one. That was a good shot from him. I'll put a nice shot out there. My teammate misses the ball again. It's a decent shot attempt. So Lax Legend there needs to rotate around me uh, when I'm heading out from the goal. I'm gonna pop it off the wall here, and again. Yeah, this is unfortunate. This might roll in here. I do pinch it off the post. And right here, I should be flipping forward to go for this boost and, and move up to the ball. I am just a little bit cautious just because Lax Legend does want to chase up a little bit. This could be a good chance here. So what you want to do here is just go onto the ball and wait for it and then pop like this. It does give the opponent a shot opportunity, but we do get the win. And uh, hopefully a little bit closer to silver one here. So a few center balls, a few shots. I didn't mean to score that first one. And uh, yeah, my teammate was silver one. So that's about the rank that we're aiming for in this episode. I think uh, I think he was like pretty fast as a silver player. 
I think he was just like not really aware of like his teammates. So like like I said, one thing you really want to learn here is uh, while you're playing uh, with these random teammates if you're solo queuing, is to just watch out for where your teammate's gonna be and use your uh, right analog stick to uh, look around the field. All right, so I am streaming this live on Twitch. And if you want to follow my Twitch channel, it'll be in the link in the description. But uh, someone in my chat did just recommend that I use KBM, which is keyboard and mouse. Uh, I'm not very good at keyboard and mouse, so it'll be a little more authentic as far as like looking a little bit lower level. Um, but I can still move around a little bit, you know, tap the the controls here. And uh, that's just a good win by Lubo there. Uh, Bartle did not drive up straight on the ball. Not much to say about that one. He's got a Dominus too. So like I said, I think I don't think really there's been any Smurfs in this episode. Uh, it's easy to just, you know, call call it a Smurf when it's a throwaway win. But Shannon's been playing uh, in gold and silver. And there's been throwaway wins all the time. Like, it's just, it's just common. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. I think the weirdest thing about KBM is that when you're on the wall, you like drift if you're not holding W. It's a good pop center. And he scores it. <laughs> I'm literally getting carried by bronze teammates right now. I don't need to do anything. This is this is pretty nice. So like I said, being that player on your team, especially in 2v2 where you're just scanning the field, uh, you don't have to do too much. Just be that player that's ready for the midfield and uh, practice your shots in those training packs like I talked about. And uh, we're going to try and jump. My teammate wants this. Like I said, I don't want to get in the way of him. He seems to want to stay on the ball. Now I can come in and touch the ball here. And I don't know if that is in. That might be in. That was a little too strong. Oh, good. Okay, there we go. Good save. Oh, oh my teammate. Might be mad at me for that one. It's a good center. So I will just tap this close here. I'll just try to drive it in. Nice. Let's follow here. So I see the ball coming in. Letting the ball do the work. And then pushing up with the ball here. Oh my gosh. Let him go. He's zooming. Right, so I see LC Uzi's coming up to the ball here. I'll just uh, let it go by here. Let's wait for Bartle. Teammate misses it. Sometimes I forget which button is boost, which which one's jump. So I got the ball in front of me now, and I can drive, and I do get the demo. And I'll swan back here and just wait for my teammate. It's a really good flick. And there we go. I don't think I don't remember how to nice shot here. Is it okay? Two one. There we go. <laughs> It's a good fake. I don't know, man. Like, I think I think the bottom line of Rocket League is getting so much better because there's just so much footage on YouTube in esports uh, that people are just knowing how to move around the field. Shannon's watched me for you know a couple of years now, and just for her, her watching me play, she's rotating around the field really, really good, uh, which is why she's staying around silver and gold already. All right, that's good. So I'm just going to hit that. I did, did, did a bit of a pop there. I talked about those before. Bit of a bump. Good try by Lubo. Good bump. Uh, good attempt on the backflip, I guess. It's a decent try. Good bump from them as well. And there's an open shot from Lubo. He does miss. Nice try. Once again, just scanning this midfield, waiting for the ball to come out to me and just popping it back in. Keeping pressure. You can see how valuable this is at the lower ranks. Just to, you know, watch in midfield. I don't have to do anything right here. Wait for them to make the touch or, or, or anything. They're closer to the ball. So don't try to push in and be that next player if they're ahead of the ball. And um, if they're in a situation, good save there. If they're in a situation where they can make a better save, like right here, I see that I'm going to win this if I come in. So I'm just going to jump in and touch the ball. Otherwise, I want to just stay, stay relevant in midfield. Try to cover that. Basically create a defensive line further back. And there you go. Nice shot there. <clears throat> they're upset, but that's... It's honestly like a very common shot. Like he just comes in, they both miss. And he just pops it in. So that was a good shot. Let's see if we can uh so we drive up to the boost pad here on the on the middle and then just drive towards it and get a solid flick to the, the front. Should get a solid kickoff. Uh as we move up the ranks, I will uh change up the the flips here. Oh no. These guys are all solo queue. Good save by Bartle. Oh, my teammate's AFK here. He's like, he's like, I'm chilling. I don't need to play. Oh, he left the game? Plot twist. 
Wait, I didn't expect this. This is not what I expected to happen. What is going on? All right. All right, so now I can't really... I'm not going to score, but I'll just try to, you know, wait out this minute, minute and 30 to see if they can get a play going. So they're going to try and turn on this. It's pretty good drift. They're fighting over the ball possession. This is what I'm talking about. This is the problem where if you get two players who are too aggressive, you uh, get in this problem. And, and at the upper level of Rocket League... Um, uh, you get people who are, you know, who balance aggression and, and rotation and stuff. Um, we'll see what happens here. It's a good shot. Back up here. I don't want to keep doing the reverse dribble because they're going to become suspicious. <laughs> and uh, we're just going to wait, wait, wait out this minute, see if they can cut, make a few plays here. So I'll go to net. That's coming towards the net here. LC uh, Uzi ends up dribbling it backwards. I mean, it's good to keep possession there, but his teammate kind of had, you know, the play there, and he's probably upset about that. Let's pop it over. LC Uzi seems to stop moving here. And uh, yeah, this is an interesting end to this episode, but uh, we'll see if we get silver. If we do, that'll be the end here. Otherwise, we'll play another one. Nice. Nice shot. Yeah, I don't know how my teammate. That's the biggest plot twist of 2020 right there. Uh, he just like left the game after. He's like, I don't deserve to be here. And he just like left, I guess. I don't know. But we're, uh, we're just going to wait for the ball to come to us since we're behind the play on the, the kickoff. Nice bump. Once again, just waiting for the ball to come to me, and then I can make a touch. And right here, I'm just going to sit underneath it, you know, dump with it. Okay, it just ended. Okay, there we go. So I think you do 1-1. One, one. There you go. GG. Uh, yeah, so that ended up being a, a weird 1v2 after my teammates scored four goals. And we made a silver one. So there's episode number one. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. I know I didn't, uh, I hope I didn't, like, you know, I hope I said enough to help with the lower ranks. Uh, we'll move into silver quite quickly in the next episode. But uh, yeah, we basically just stayed relevant. Big, big key uh, takeaways here are just uh, following boost pads, making sure you're relevant in midfield. Basically create a midline defense and wait for the opponents if they're closer. Get get used to uh, knowing the distance between you and the ball versus the, the, the opponents in the ball and even your teammate in the ball too. If you see your teammate behind you, sometimes you just gotta sacrifice the fact that you were there and just let them chase behind you. And get out, get out of their way because, you know, you can't trust your teammates to be to be thinking the way that you're thinking, especially if you're watching this tutorial series and uh, and you're learning. They may not may not have seen it, and they're just going on autopilot. So be the bigger bigger player and just uh, get get out of their way and, and move away from the player and space out from them. But I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. It was a lot of fun to record. I think it was definitely an interesting experience. I got carried by a bronze teammate, so I can say that for the rest of my career. And uh, until next time, catch you guys in the next video. Have a great day.